afternoon all so shall we start still we have 2 3 minutes uh, i think i'll use this 2 3 minutes to have uh, at least we'll start with some interactions okay uh, people somebody from management have done management you know four p's in marketing right what are the four p's product place price promotion okay so anyone guess is the three c's is there anyone in any any, any book you have seen three c's for agile agile project success huh ci collaboration good code okay good cost okay customer okay good actually uh, i think uh, we are aligning in uh, at least 80% of the things okay uh, we already revealed the secret what are the three c's uh, this three c's uh, is not taken from any book is based on our uh, on our agile experiences in our agile journey uh, what we felt these are the three important points which really uh, anyone want to really adapt the agile in our organization what are the level this need to be taken care uh, our previous speaker taken more on the process side i am not going to take much on the process side i will take on the other part of the story that the human wear we will see how this human wear the people uh, they determine this agile success and what are the related things really going to helpful for your software to work or the thing okay this agile is a process methodology is it comparable to waterfall okay somewhere i uh, from my perspective is my own perspective i didn't see agile as a process i see agile is a way of working so is a way how you develop the good way of developing your software is a way of working i am not seeing is another process reason is another process you want to transition uh, any waterfall and all it's a set of practices process you take a training and people can move into it. but from my experience transitioning at least uh, 100 plus team we have done for our oem i never seen that's a very easy task like just a process uh, teach them scrum sprint, uh, planning uh, pokering all those thing i don't think is ends it is complete the mind mindset change you have to set the Uh, change the mindset of the people you yeah, really the agile want to work for you you have to set the mindset of the people so the people aspect is much more important if you really want to successfully transition to agile you tell automation you tell tdd so you create that culture so he uh, raja has said the context very clearly one of the principle he told it should be a early success is a collective responsibility so to bring that responsibility uh, the accountability into the team which is very difficult all agree okay so transitioning to agile uh, some people telling okay i will do it in another uh, couple of months I, i feel is a team maturity how your team has reached that kind of maturity in uh, became really a self organized team okay then only you can tell yeah I, we are moved into agile okay good with a note uh, a brief uh, experience about me i work mostly in the telecom uh, application and uh, we are, i have worked as uh more than 5 years in the agile projects we use more scrum and the xp practice scrum is for our planning and the xp will be the practices we have, we have used extensively i have i played a scrum master role agile coach scrum coach so these are the roles i have played um so this current case study this is a case study it is uh, taken uh, for the distributed team actually uh, it this story uh, dates 5 years back uh, we had a major program we taken is a uh, in development people know in intelligent network your prepaid cards okay we uh, arisan by the way it's do lot of rnd services in the telecom area we are very specialist and we are the market leader in that market leader means we co create product for all the any oems ericsson nsn elu for everyone uh, they are our customers so we specialize in the telecom domain and um, this product is transitioning the legacy and the new product uh, from one of the europe region and this pro project uh, executed to be executed 
partly in our uh, thing in Bangalore and uh, some partly in China, some part of the component like uh, UA related in China and the backbone traffic layer we done and some of the management portions is done in the uh, Netherlands. So it is uh, the distributed, totally distributed team in a different geography and different uh, time zone. Uh, that's one thing. And second thing, I want to tell the nature of things. Some of the, we had around uh, 12 plus Agile teams, uh, roughly uh, six to eight, eight people, uh, the team size. And the uh, specialty of some of the team is, some teams we are fully owned, the product owner will be from the uh, our customer side. Uh, product owner and there will be an architect from the customer side and the team will be sitting here and another situation some of the teams four members of the team will be here part of our company four members will be uh, two members from uh, china two members from the uh, uh, netherlands so this uh, this creates a lot of complexity and the challenges so in this environment uh, how what are the challenges we faced actually uh, what i am trying to share here what are the challenges we faced some of the challenges you also can agree, like how you told three C's, you'll also agree these are the challenges. And how we overcome the challenges, some of the proven practices, which has worked well for us in most of the projects, it could be uh, helpful for you, it, it will work for you. If, I think that would be a key takeaway from you for this. So three C's, communication, collaboration. I think last two days in this conference, everyone is hearing communication, collaboration. It's a very key thing. And another element I want to bring, who are doing this offshore development, right? Uh, the important element is the customer involvement. Agile never succeed if there is a proper customer involvement, high customer involvement is there. Uh, if the product owner uh, is not there, you are not, you are not going to get a continuous feedback, then this, the inspector adapt, this process is not going to be more successful. Okay, so that the third element, very critical element is the customer involvement. So, uh, to really achieve agility, okay, really want to agile, ag agility, there are a lot of changes happening in the business. Why the agile is taken? Time to market and uh, respond to the business changes, right? If anything is getting changed from the, you are uh, discussing idea to the delivery, right? Any idea, business, new idea coming, how it will go, go to the delivery? How we adapt it very quickly uh, without uh, without missing anything, okay? This for that the better communication should happen across the stakeholders, uh, starting from the product manager, business managers, and all the technical people. So you, you want to see, uh, want to just go through what are the key challenges, what we face in uh, the situation, what I told in the specific uh, case study, the distributed agile team. See, one, we seen this geographical distance, I told, differ, different time zones. So this, initially what happened, uh, that is the delayed distance. So we have to coordinate or collaborate across the uh, things. What happened most of the time, this technical distance is delayed. Somehow, some, some point of time, uh, the, we couldn't get the priority from the product owner properly. This has impacted the team model. And lack of mutual trust. I think this is a common problem, everyone in the offshore. How many people, some services company, I think this would be a important, you will also facing this challenge, right? So whenever the new account started, the lack of trust, the architects from that side, the team always does better, not doing good, okay? That's kind of perception, wrong. the perception will build. So to build, overcome that perception and build the trust, that, that's a big challenge. And the communication, the uh, cross communications and communication loops. And you will be seeing that the emails, right? You will be for one of the requirement clarification, emails are keep on going. And finally, we'll see that uh, uh, the sprint is going to end. Such kind of uh, situations. I think you would have seen that one. So the, and lack of necessary documentation. So how many people agree that uh, Agile require documentation? Okay. Others? So documentation means I, the value added documentation I mean, it is not a real documentation uh, like what you do in waterfall. So the value added documentation is certainly required if you work in the distributed team. So let's moving into the proven practices from the communication front. Uh, Raja, Raja has told about you should have a proper infrastructure for your communication coordination, right? 
So, and also you should have a pro proper uh, right mix of the communication methodologies. Uh, I hope people know informal and formal communication, right? Uh, so, what we have done is we had a right mix of formal and informal communications. Uh, we seen the need for the better collaboration, so we use the link. So, always the customer and the customer also a part of the MS link. So, the good IM communication they can have. They need not to always go for your phone. So, that one way we done. And the daily stand-ups we done with the Skype. So, with the cost effective as well as we are able to have like a video conference kind of thing. And all our demos, planning meetings used to be a video conference. And uh, so, what, what, what is very important is the face-to-face -face communication. Agile uh, tells about the people interactions, right? Interactions uh, over the email is ineffective. Then you are doing over the some of these face-to-face communication tools. So those tools we used, and uh, we have used uh, WebEx sessions for all the sprint reviews, and we uh, have the your uh, desktop sharing. Those kind of things. We the architect sessions are done that way. So this really helped. So we have, you should plan for a right mix of communication. This is what, what we thought and what customer budget. If the customer has more budget, you should can go for a better tool. More informal tools, which can increase more uh, better communication. Second thing, architect and scrum master as, a, act as a commun communication bridge. So there will be a team communication happens. What we see also the delayed uh, decisions, what I told, uh, there is a delayed decisions <coughs> happening, technical. So the technical things, architects will have a good uh, sync with the architects over there and the product owner. So always he brings and gives that inputs locally. So it makes sure the delayed decisions are avoided. And uh, Scrum Master makes sure the impediments went proactively and uh, given on time. So that helped. And one more thing uh, we done is a communication workshop. This communication workshop uh, we had done with the customer. When the program started, we done two workshops. One is communication workshop and the cultural workshop. We'll, dis we'll discuss in the next uh, item, that cultural workshop. The communication workshop, we discussed about what type of communication, uh, who will communicate to what, the complete the communication channel, what type of communication methodologies you use. I think that really helped us make our project success. That helped us. And, the com and one of the things uh, is a very innovative thing we have done. Uh, we feel that uh, every uh, jail projects will have a KPIs, right? Or some measurements for a product like team or velocity like that. We also kept one uh, subjective KPI, uh, which really worked well uh, to get a continuous feedback from our customer. It is called communication index. So every sprint, end of the sprint, we will ask uh, customer to rate 1 to 10 how our communication went from the architects, from the scrum masters, team, and all. So based on the rating, it will help us to improve, improve and also to avoid any communication loops. So it really helped uh, improve our relationships also. Planned sync up meetings. I told that uh, this product is developed in the multiple location, and uh, you will have a challenge during the design phase and also design means we are not done a complete design, it's about the evolutionary design, but still we have to do a high level architect when the future is being defined. So that phase, uh, our architects and architect from China and architect from, they synced up together and they worked as one sprint. We used to call that as called sprint zero. Sprint zero is typically start before your actual development sprint start, starts, okay? So in the sprint zero, they have done this, this really helped us. This is a sync up meeting. And another sync up meeting happened before the uh, system testing phase and the SAT phase. So this various component getting integrated. So they work together in one location. So it based on each release, the location is time. One time we worked in China, one time people worked in India and were Netherlands. So they keep, this helped this practice to improve the communication to avoid uh, any uh, problem in the release. And value added formal documentation. Um, our design document, we do design. We do all the whiteboarding. And we'll capture that thing uh, with our uh, mobile. And we'll uh, put it in the document and send. So the documentation, because this is the communication we want to be in sync with the architect in the uh, other, uh, other places. That's so this written communication, but still we see is a value added one. So these are the uh, uh, practices really helped us in the communication side. So collaboration, so I read in a book that software development is a cooperative game, right? The, the Agile is nothing but 
how to develop the good software in a very collaborative way. So that's what we all uh, discussing what this uh, conference is. So we'll see what are the key challenges for achieving this collaboration with the distributed agile team. One is the, dis the geographical distance, the different time zones where people have less time to interact, uh, less interactions are there, and the cultural aspect. Very important thing is the cultural aspect. How many people uh, you have seen this problem? Cultural aspect, whether it is a services or a product company across the multiple, this is a very important thing, cultural aspect, which need to be taken care. And I, I can explain you this one, the context. The Netherlands people, Dutch people, anyone know about how the Dutch culture? They will call direct Dutch. Direct Dutch. The Dutch people, they always call direct Dutch. The Dutch people give the feedback very straightforward in a very, not in a very polished, the direct way. Whereas the Indians, we working, we even the negative feedback we give, we'll try to give in a polished way, most of them. And uh, somewhere, some other speaker is telling about the transparency. The transparency, uh, they, the transparency is like, is not like we are not transparent, we are transparent, but we delay in telling it. Okay, if anything is happening, any issues are there, so it will be delayed. The Indian culture, the developer will delay, will see, okay, I'll solve the issue, then I'll tell the issue, tell to the customer. You see the cultural uh, differences, right? So, totally uh, two different there. They want immediate communication, direct communication. Here we give delay. So, initially we seen this problem. So what we done is, we have done a Dutch cultural workshop uh, to our team. Also we give an Indian cultural workshop to our customer. So to make them to aware, so what is the culture. And uh, both the people were participant of this cultural workshop before the program. So then they understood, okay, this is the people is like, this. rather than the perception is building, it helped them actually uh, to start the relation. Otherwise, the relation would have a very difficult uh, thing to set the initial relation. Personal tracks, yeah, it is naturally the people, how uh, people is required. For that, uh, we'll see the personal tracks impacts this collaboration. That is also very important. We have to see in the recruitment. We'll see in the next slide how to do. If the communication is not good, it automatically will lead to uh, collaboration issues. And also the organization culture and leadership. Anyone can tell why organization culture and the leadership impacts collaboration? You're all, yeah? Exactly, it is like uh, the traditional way of command and control you keep and uh, the, that's where I, I am also learn, uh, seeing from that the transition. Uh, when the agile transition happened, we are all uh, trained or we are all uh, coached by our coach first time uh, along with the team. So exactly coach tell us how we should pay, uh, face the facilitator role. Initially for me is also transition was very difficult. We used to give command and control, we used to assign the work and coming to a new way of role like team will select and uh, we need to only facilitate. We didn't have control. Somehow we felt like that. So this actually, uh, that moving to the servant leadership, ne? This be the transition for not all managers does, you have to select a right leader into this team. Rather than a manager, you have to get a leader for an agile team. And organization culture, also uh, the structure, the deep hierarchy, right? That also impact, the transparency is getting an impact on this. The more uh, the information get filtered, so those things also seen. Our customer told, why not you can have a flat iron? <coughs> why you call tech lead, uh, project lead, project manager? Have one person. One person responds. Make it very simple hierarchy. So what will happen if you are, uh, actually I seen this, uh, if you are not handle this situation properly, you will end up in the blame game. Uh, somewhere, uh, how, whom, how many people attended the, the IOS? Uh, be the windows for transformation, IOS yesterday, okay. They are telling they, we, right? So we'll always end up in they. So people will point each other, and blame game will be there. It may not be very productive. And uh, communication, certainly the right style of communication you have to give. This is a very important thing. Whenever you are setting up a new uh, account or a program, this thing, at least you ensure that you are having a visit from the customer, the critical person like a product owner, architects, visit you there, uh, your premises and meet the uh, team. Similarly, uh, the team also visit, uh, team at least the key members visit the other team members or the architects. 
this will increase the collaboration. This we really see an effect. I can tell one instance. We had uh, one architect from Netherlands. Always his perception. I think he built up the perception. Indians the bad quality of code. He people does a good quality of code. So. No, without any data, this is the given starting of the thing. So what will happen? Whatever we does, always he comes out with a better supporter of our team. I think this really need to be taken care. Requirement workshop. Uh, somebody taken about the fixed bit agile model uh, thing in this right. So very important thing is this kind of requirement workshop uh, need to be done. Actually, before signing your contract, agile doesn't advocate about contract. Still, you have to sign a contract, right? So this requirement workshop will help you, you and customer, to understand. What exactly the requirement and what is going to be the way of working? How you both work together, the communication, all the places, and what is an architecture? It will give a good amount of information for you to really make a realistic commitment to the customer. So the requirement workshop. And uh, the hiring focus, cultural workshop uh, we discussed. Hiring focus, yeah. How, agile team, uh, we always. Uh, uh, give more importance to the social skills. Uh, all the communications and other uh, team skills. So is there anything you want to share on this, anyone? Is that people also focus on this? Because Agile requires a different set of people, not only the technical competency. People should work as a good team player. And we cannot, it's very difficult to mold such kind of social skills, but uh, technical skills can be molded. And organizational, cultural, leader, Agile leadership, that's what we discussed about the servant leadership. And the last but the least, the customer involvement is very important. Uh, if you see that uh, customer involvement is there, I am seeing the most of the agile will be end up in doing agile, but or it will become like a fragile. You uh, so rather than you need not to play, it will create a lot of team attrition. Those kind of things, even the, those kind of projects we seen. So customer involvement is certainly very critical. So agile methods are intensively customer driven and no. Customer involvement means no agile approach. So what are the ch uh, challenges we seen in this particular program is the, the, or the organization, they also started learning the agile first time, who is outsourcing. Why they want to outsource is they want to have a uh, cost effective and time to market, everything fine for agile. Still, they also on the learning phase. So this, so they didn't see the value of lending one of the product initially. Uh, so that created a problem. And collaborations, uh, I told all the trust, like an architect, how it started earlier. And lack of knowledge. Even they have a lack of knowledge in the product as well as the processes that will have an impact. And lack of time commitment. Mostly they will see why I have to, I offshore the project, why I should uh, spend time with them. So that mentality will be there. So we have, so we have, we found some solution, workaround for that. Uh, I use the word workaround, uh, so that is not a solution. <laughs> So we have a workaround for that. So this factors really impacts your uh, customer involvement. One is like uh, initially when I was set a program, you set that way of working, how we work, what is your response, expectation. You set your expectation, well, we want the product owner, so it will be there. And periodic visit for collaboration. The last thing what I want is called customer proxy. What we done one program where customer couldn't able to give time, but team wants that kind of consistent feedback. So we done, our senior architect became a proxy product owner. And uh, he uh, played as a customer proxy. So this really helped in bridging that gap. But I will tell this is a workaround, but still we need to have, uh, we have to ensure the good customer involvement. Then only you won't see any surprises during your releases. Otherwise, after the sprint, they will see this is what I did not expect, right? So the involvement is very much required. So what are the key results we achieved is the team moral is a very high team moral. I could tell that attrition is less than 5% in this team. And we didn't miss our deliveries. Uh, all uh, we are able to with a good quality. And we also ha had a very good CSATS rating. Okay. I want to close. So we could, this proven practices, which help to deliver the value to the customer. And I want to close my uh, talk with the human value, uh, the leadership. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any questions you can show?